of it. Come break bread with me. Let's break bread. Come break bread with me. Let's break bread. We about to eat this food and get fed. Come break bread with me. Let's break bread. Hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, Look, y'all got my first married couple. Nine years in the game. Yeah. yeah. We married mm -hmm. nine this weekend. Been a good one. Ten. Ten years. Change. That's beautiful. So high school sweethearts. Um, uh, nah. Nah, I was What was wrong? Yeah, like... Fresh I was at high school. Uh, she was still in high school. Senior. I just graduated. Oh, yeah, okay. So about in the 09. Yeah. This real love right here. Yeah. Look what they brought me, y'all. 25 yeah. tacos. It ain't Taco Tuesday. What you feel? It ain't Taco Tuesday, but this is the real. Yeah. 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 Let me show y'all what else they done brought. I knew we were going to get it in after we said it's great. <laughs> yeah, you know. Everybody that know me know I'll be on the Modelo. I told them just don't bring no Corona because we don't want the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be my first Modelo. This is my first time eating these tacos. So we'll say our grace. Now we thank you. Now we thank you for our food. For our food. Father God, we thank you. Father God, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Honey, get you ain't showering. You ready? I'm shy. You shy <laughs> dance. Yeah. You used to be mean to me in high school. I did. I was. I was. I was bad as hell in high school. You feel me? Mm. Like. And you was gang banging. Nah, he man. Was, he thought he no. was gang banging. Yeah. He went in. Uh, I don't grow up a lot. You feel me? You went to the military. How was that? Uh. It was cold. You feel me? I definitely don't regret it. But it's some of the best time of my life. You feel me? I learned a lot. Seen a lot. Been all over the world. Um. Uh, yeah, I've asked for that, you know what I mean? Definitely changed my life around, you feel me? And got me going on the right track. That's what's up. And all the bullshit, you feel me? So, that's what's up. So, Jasmine, how was it being a army wife? Which one? The army? Yeah, I was the army. The army, okay. So, how was it being an army wife and having to travel and have those babies? It was hard. It was less easy about it, but I don't regret it neither. Where are you was the hardest cause uh, it was my first was station, I was stationed in DC, up at the Honor Guard. Then we went to Hawaii, we stayed in Hawaii for three years. And I finished my uh the chicken one. Finished in Texas, Fort Hood. So I did almost nine years, eight eight and a half, almost nine years. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that long. That yeah. shit I ain't either. But you know long time. It's, it was a while. And then we came back home well to Knoxville and yeah we've been here back what, almost two this years now this you don't call Knoxville home even though you were born and raised there it's home but it's like I mean it's it's home for him it's home where are you from she from Memphis I came here mm -hmm. in um, sixth grade never knew that yeah she was she from Memphis okay, I know what grade. so Frenchie was in the eighth grade then. Mm -hmm. okay okay yeah, I remember when y'all moved right behind us. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize y'all went from here, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said I was mean to wear a house. Mm -hmm. You was mean. You mean your sister. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mean. I wasn't mean. That's right, still mean to this day. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't you know what I'm saying. How you doing, Ray? Open that. Um, <laughs> <Where is it? laughs> <laughs> Crazy girl, man. Oh, shit. It's hot. What is this? Oh, uh, that's the sausage shit they had in there. Oh, that's spicy, spicy. I'm gonna need this Modelo. How you say that? <laughs> Smoke that hoe. Modelo. Modelo, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think open that for me. So, what do you want to talk about, Jasmine? Y'all got questions, folks. You got questions? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, introduce yourself. I don't think we. How you open it? You just twist it up? Nah, I just crack it up. Nah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a viewer on her from Canada, girl. She don't know you. Not like that. No, 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 I'm saying. Hey. I didn't hey, want to what's talk her name? to you. From Canada. Oh, she didn't know she got one. No. I was going to say hey from Canada. Oh. That's awesome. That's different. That's awesome. Boy, funny. matey. <laughs> hey, she funny, bro. We be at the crib cracking up. We watch our videos every night. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. My mm -hmm. son thinks him and their daughter is cousins. <laughs> so as she pulled up, with, is this Dallas house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brooklyn, Hayden, they're my cousins. I'm like, 
Yeah, you can't play with Dallas. You can play with somebody else, but you can't play with him. Mm. <laughs> nah, that's good. Damn. Shit, we out of the age, man. We all got kids in school. I mean, everybody not do pretty much grew up. Around each other, knowing each other, you know what I'm saying, so way. Yeah, because we all grew, we grew up on Woodburn, and then they was East Fifth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because y'all was down the street. Trust me, I remember. See, we, only, we only lived on, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, because Ebony and Paulette was good friends. Yeah, in high school, you know what I'm saying? That's when we moved to Woodburn. We from, yeah. That's great. Kind of tastes like a... Bottle. Yeah, but it kind of tastes like a Coke 45 a little bit. Mm. That's good. Mexican Coke 45. Oh, the Mexican Coke 45. Okay, okay. Arriba, arriba. Yeah, tacos, though. You know what I'm saying? They fire. I don't want that cause. Damn. How you feel? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's your one taco, man. That's the young know, so We came to talk. You know what I'm saying? What talk, what so, y'all open to talk about what I want to talk about. Whatever you want to talk about. Okay, so. Whatever you want to talk about. When I was in middle school, I was in middle school with my husband. Okay. One thing we had to talk about was, like, a deal breaker. Like, in our relationship... What is the absolute deal breaker? Did y'all ever have that conversation? And what is y'all deal breaker? Uh, we never really had that conversation. Yeah, we ain't never really had that conversation. And I don't yeah. like when you think about it. I can't just say what a deal breaker would be. You know, cause yeah, cause we've I been, don't know. We've been together so long. You feel me? We don't like we don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. We got married. She was together. I had just turned 20 and she was 19, so. Oh, yeah, we probably. We was young, for real. You feel me? Didn't know shit about nothing. About shit. Like, my deal breaker was abuse. Like, physically hit me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, I can face it. Hold on. As a man, I ain't never. I never put my hands on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all, mm-hmm. I mean, only for the, we all do like cats and dogs from time to time, but mm-hmm. as far as me actually physically put my hands on it, mm-hmm. nah. What about cheating? Is it a dead breaker? Mm-hmm. I mean, we have an issue. Black man don't cheat, you feel me? So. You said black man don't cheat? Black man don't Okay, okay. But we honestly have never had that issue. With the infidelity. Never. Yeah, no. See, me, I'm, I haven't dealt with that issue. Thank God, not going so well. But to me, it wouldn't be a deal breaker. Oh. It, it, for, it would be a deal breaker for me if you emotionally got attached to her. Okay. Then it's, it's like, how did you even have emotions for the next bitch anyways? Right. But, I mean. I mean, but with women, though, y'all going to be more, in my opinion, you got to be emotionally attached to a fucking nigga. You feel me? Right. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Not all women. Not kind of necessary. Not all women. Not all women. Some women are dogs, too. Her. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Not all women. Right. Because I know, you know what I'm saying? I've been. Come on. Especially in the army, you feel me? Like, motherfuckers are fucking with the dog. On the motherfuckers on deployment. Oh, I sober. seen some shit. Hey. So no, that's scary, like. Yeah. I seen some dog ass bitches. For real, man. You know what I'm and it was on the bitches. It's a whole nice thing. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you the truth. It was on the bitches. So what's the longest y'all done been away from each other? Oh, I was. I did nine month tour. Oh, nine month. The blue. The blue. The to Korea and was it 2016? Yeah. So that's when I moved back here to. Um, so nine months. Cause I ain't gonna be by myself for that long, so I came back here. And in nine months, you over there in Korea with them, man, them beautiful women. Nah, or the Korean women. The thing about the thing about the army, you know what I'm saying? Over there yeah, I brought yeah, I brought my leg, I brought my foot to the Korea. So I, was, I had <laughs> cases, crushes for like four or five months, seven or nine months. You feel me? But like the thing about the army, they put you in the worst. You know what I'm saying? Place. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like it ain't like. And you go somewhere, it's like, oh, I'm in the best, I'm in the best place in Korea. Yeah, we got to go see shit. We got to go this, this, and that. But, and we was working so much, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you would, that wasn't on your mind? Nah. I mean, it was on my mind. It was on my mind. Well, yeah, I'm just not cheating, but, yeah. you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But nah, I ain't. I'm not in the Korean women, like, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like, it kind of Asian and all that. I'm cool on that, you feel me? And the reason why I asked like, it because sister, it was so young. You know, y'all was so young when y'all got married. And I 
pretty sure y'all probably had a lot of people in your family telling y'all to wait. Don't do that. Then nobody, then nobody even know. Then nobody even know got married. Mm, so she had, um, yeah, she got. Yeah. <laughs> she had Hayden. You know what I'm saying? I was we in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? And I, I asked her was her after everybody had left the hospital from seeing her, I let. And then she said, yeah, then we went to a courthouse and got married. Then nobody even know. We got cussed out and everything. <laughs> Motherfuckers was mad. You feel me? But shit, like I told her, I'd rather do it like it. And, you know what I'm saying? It'd be good. Like, it'd be a good experience or a good movie. Right. Them right. motherfuckers being there, all that slick shit. You know what I'm saying? Spending all that money for just the wedding and nobody's yeah. really worried about the and marriage. people was yeah, mad. We got all kinds of text messages. On top of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, phone calls. Why, why, why? Yeah, I get married. by this crazy. And for uh, about two or three years, people still was like, they ain't gonna make it. They ain't gonna make it. Hell, still now, I feel like, that's how they feel, but... Let me tell you something. When I first got with DJ, the first thing... I got into an argument with this girl I grew up with. The first thing she said was, well, he gonna cheat on you. He ain't gonna love you anyway. That's the, like the first thing, an argument I met. And DJ, to this day, do not rock with her because he's like, well, she didn't even know me, so how she just gonna judge me? Um, exactly, judging so. him, and then... You, that's just some hating ass shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, Putting that kind of, you know what I mean, sitting in your head, on your ear. Yes. And that's that's the hard know. thing. And I was going to ask you that, too. It's spicy. Huh? And it's very not. <laughs> I need some merch. Y'all know I'm about to say merch. Look, it's, it's like habaneros or something. Like, it's hot in the back of my throat. Like, you got my throat tickling. That's how hot it is. I want to spit in the heat. It's one of those. Let me see what's in the curd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. That's spicy. They got like ginger on it. Oh, it's good though. Curds. I eat the little. Curds make your eyes pretty. Do they? That's what they used to tell us as kids. See, probably just some vegetables for I don't know what they on over there. That see my nose running now. Well, this is why I put. I don't even eat beef, so I'm probably gonna be sick. Jasmine. How is it having a man that you could talk to about not cheating? Because, you know, a lot of us women, especially black women, we don't know how to be loved properly. Hmm. And we always <laughs> nagging and accusing our men of doing X, Y, Z. I mean, there was some of that at the beginning. Okay. There was a lot of that at the beginning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But there's still some of that at the time, but it ain't. it ain't no... You cheating kind of stuff is just like when you when you grow up not being loved properly because parents feel like because they financially was there and they loved you properly right and you just it's, it's just hard for you to accept it. I we accept it better, but he had an issue too sometimes. So yeah, what you want to say? It's at the tip of your tongue. <laughs> I mean, as far as what like we it. We ain't perfect, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? We have our time, we argue, like, we argue, you know what I'm saying? Like, we butt fucking heads, you know what I'm saying? But we don't be like, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we really set up like, what, four o'clock last night? Talking, you feel me? Just talking, you know what I'm saying? That's important. So, y'all still date each other. Y'all still, <clears throat> just because y'all been married nine years, y'all haven't stopped dating each other. Mm. If that makes sense. Like, y'all still go on dates and still When we can. Talk. When we can. Because we still got three kids. <laughs> we got three kids. Sometimes the money ain't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But. And Dazzin is a real daddy. He be at the school with the kids, picking them up, dropping mm -hmm. them off. I love that. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's you know what I'm saying? He ain't one. Because our kids need that. If yeah. I ain't shit else, you feel me? If I ain't, I'm going to be there. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like. I've I been like that since. I knew that when I was a kid, you feel me? So, you gotta be there for them kids, man, you feel me? Because that's, that's, there be a lot of niggas that don't, you know what I'm saying, be doing for their kids, you know what I'm saying? You can, my opinion, kids you can buy, you can buy yeah. some kids shit all day, but that time, you feel me? That's that, important. That figure, father figure being present, you feel me? It's very important. To let the law, you know what I mean? And love at the same time. Too. Did you have a father figure growing? Me? My dad got killed when I was nine. Mm. Yeah, so it's me. real important. Yeah, that's what I said. I, when I knew, as a kid, I knew, you know what I'm saying, on my, um, when I had kids, you feel me, it was, it was going to be that. He been that. So, 
Since we found out about Megan. Yeah. That's what's up. So yeah, what's like next? Never been nothing different. So he's always been A1. Yeah. What's next for y'all? Mom, dad, the couple, married couple, all that. Oh. We're <clears throat> starting with our move. Yeah, we're starting with the move. You feel me? Um, hit the reset button. Go back to uh, Texas. You know what I mean? And, uh, she going to work on, she want to work on getting her. <clears throat> My own yeah. shop. Yeah, she wanna get her own shop, you feel me? What kind of shop? A nail shop, but waxing, eyebrows, lashes, all that stuff. I I used to have a passion for her, but I just don't no more. Mm -hmm. And I, I do got a passion for that because I do it with the girls. You know what I'm saying? I don't do it with nobody else. But I gotta I'm gonna go to school, I'm gonna get my degree, you know, my certification in and all that stuff, and then go from there. Hayden asked me the other day, she was like, Mama, so are you are you going back to school? I was like, <laughs> Check the ass. What you doing? Excuse me. What's your, what's your goal? You know what I'm saying? What's your and plan? She yeah. watching you. You her she, superhero. Yeah, I, I know. And when I was working, because I ain't just been sitting at home since we've been home, but it ain't been easy because child curves, you know. But, you trying to work, pay for daycare. Man. So that's what I'm saying. So really, schedule and stuff, you know what I'm it's saying? Not really, easy. It's in our not, situation anyway, you feel me? Like if she work, you know what I'm saying? She out her bread going to daycare. You know what I mean? Chair Creek, you feel me? For three for three of the motherfuckers. Right. You know, they taxing. You feel me? So I mean So this what I'm gonna have. And this what I'm gonna do. She's like, Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna help you with that. I'm gonna be a part of that. Yeah, she's yes, she are. Right. Yes, she are. Yeah. People use brilliant when they talk about her. Yeah. That's awesome. But that's more smart. She was rough, but it's always smart. That's what I'm saying. Like, I always got, you know what I'm saying? Anytime they, like, I had a t-shirt, converse, whatever, it was never that I couldn't do the work. I was just so fucking paid. You know what I'm saying? And no I matter what that's where you was traumatized as a child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People don't be understanding that. Yeah. Man. Mental, mental health is like, you know what I'm saying? Black people don't understand it. That's why black men. Yeah, yeah. We expect them to be strong and we don't really. Like I said to DJ, I'm not trying to be your mom. I want to be your wife. Yes. But there's a lot of things you don't know. Or, like one thing when we had our son, I said, just promise me you will always love him. Mm -hmm. And don't let him, you know, boys don't cry, that type of crap. Yes, always you know. hug your son. Always love your son. Teach him how to be a man. Yeah. Let me tell you something about my kids. Besides the fact that we've been home for two years and they still don't um, been with us all the time. I'm not complaining. Whatever, but... It gets rough. It gets rough. You know, it gets rough. So, um... Mm -hmm. dudes, oh, yeah, our kids, they can't go to sleep at night if we don't hug them and kiss them. Yeah. They will mm -hmm. not go to sleep. Mm -hmm. They can't. It's like it's, their body won't let them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, we've been doing that since the day I was born. And it has not changed. Like, if we away and they somewhere else, they got to call. We, they got to have a nice conversation with us. They not just before they go to bed. Yeah, all that matters. Like, that's the point. Yeah. Exactly. Like, mm -hmm. they need to grow up and know that it's okay to love and be loved. You know, and not feel stuff. shit. It you know feel. It's like, like men. Like, we, we like to be known and shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause shit. I don't know my son like that. You know what I mean? It's not healthy. It's not, you feel me? I don't want it like that. I want it to be not. strong, but... I mean, you can be strong and still feel me. Okay I, 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 I struggle with that, too, you know what I'm saying? She'll tell you, like, like you just thought I curved. It's just, you feel me? Being but you're raised. probably a little wired way different going from how you grew up to going to the military. Yeah. So you know you can't really show emotion. But with exactly. your woman, you have to be more open. Yeah, yeah. We're learning. Be like, shit, this is like I said. We ain't about to grow and try to, you know what I'm saying, figure out best what we can. You know what I mean? I love it. How, uh, How's your yeah, how, 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 life? Yeah, for you, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all happy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seem happy. Y'all seem very happy, you know which is saying? how it's supposed to be. Y'all be doing a little, uh, like Christmas time, y'all do the same. Miss Clouds, Mr. Clouds. Oh, yeah, we love that shit, you know what I'm saying? Give them back. With us, I feel like. It was later in life. You know, I had, he went through a lot of rough patches. I went through a lot of rough patches in my early 20s. So where when I met DJ, I knew that was going to be my husband. Yeah. Like, I prayed for him. I knew he was going to be my husband. That's it dope. gets 
hard because DJ is an introvert. And I, I like, I'm, 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 I want to go places. I want to dress up. Uh-huh. Like, he still won't come on the camera with me because this is not his lane at all. Yeah, she ain't like, gonna say she dragged me, but you know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I'm so glad you can't because every yeah. time I see you, I'm like, I want you to come on. Yeah, she can, <laughs> but like, this ain't my kind of shit either. You feel me? I'm to myself. I'm a homebody. You feel mm-hmm. me? She get mad because. She be like, let's go. I don't be wanting to live in Korea. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been in my shit. Yeah, the green was hot, but it's good. This is what I told DJ. I said, I got married. With, it said I'm bad saying it out loud. I was like, I got married because I want my man to accompany me, to go places with me. I've been single all this long time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I want to show you off. You know, he handsome yes. to me. I think he's gorgeous. I still like showing the hands off. I think he's fine. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little rough today. I'm just going to stop that. What you get your hair cut for? You already got your fish, baby. <laughs> I got you too. Not that flopper, you feel me? Oh, I got you. Okay, okay. You know, you know, we're going to come home with that hair cut, you feel me? You're right. <laughs> so far. <laughs> See, DJ, man, he's like, I support you. He had the kids. He cooked. He cleaned up. So that really makes me happy. Yeah. We made a pact in the beginning that we were not going to physically put our hands on each other. Because I done been in an abusive relationship. For real. Where it's physical fist fights. And my mama and my daddy used to fight back in the day. Too. And so did his. And he was like, that's one thing I will not do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or call me out my name. Or we don't even really argue for the kids. If we having a disagreement, like, especially Baby Dallas, like, he can feel that energy. He's like, well, mm-hmm. y'all argue. Stop yelling at each other. Just talk. Yeah. So we try to talk through it. Yeah. We don't go to bed mad. And we just try to work through our it's communication. Yeah. So who give in? Who gives in first? Um, this, I'm going to tell you the truth. With DJ, we cannot have face-to-face conversations if it's getting heated. We have yeah. to text each other. Because yeah. he will open up more in a text message than he will to my face. Mm. Yeah. And that, I think that's a part of his challenge. That's all, man. Yeah, because y'all yeah, like to, you know what I'm saying? Her, she, she emotional, so she can get riled up in. And I just shut down, you feel me? Like, I'm like, I all right. I hate that. That's you know what I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, you got it, you know what I'm saying? Then unless she get me mad, mad, then I might, you know what I mean, go back and forth to an extent. but mm. And then I'm just going to shut down. But I, I got to, you know what I'm saying? I'm the motherfucker that got to. Let the KB. Get me in, because she. What you mean, got to? <laughs> you better. See, my personality is just so big, I will overshadow him. I had to learn how to shut up and let him talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I be he don't say the right words sometimes, and I be like, that's not what I want you to say. You should say this. And he's like, you can't do me like that. Yeah, yeah. facts. That's not how I think. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't like when you did that. Yeah. So I, I went used to men talking back to me. Because I knock you out quick. You're it. <laughs> With the left. The one, two. Uh, but he a man, man. He's like, uh-uh. Don't talk to me like that. Like, oh, okay. Clutch my pearls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait till the kids right go to sleep. Last night. Yeah. And I talk sometimes. Yeah. I can be sometimes. When I get super riled up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, so does, she go right. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we arguing, you know what I mean? She can't. She can, I ain't going to say always, but. She go to zero to a hundred. I'm like, it ain't always got to go to that. You feel me? Like, it ain't got to go from we disagree or, you know what I'm saying? I don't piss you off on some little bullshit. And then you, ah, X, Y, Z. It ain't got to be all that. Sometimes it's saying? easier, though, to just yell and to cuss and to get it out. And then I'll be good. And then we good in five minutes. But y'all harbor on to that. It's like, I'm still mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as he, if we arguing and we fighting, if he go in there and cook, we good. <laughs> we ain't got to say sorry. We just going to sit down and eat and then start talking like nothing ever happened in five minutes. Yeah, I cleaned up. That's yeah, my problem. Start That's because she going to be the mad or, you know what I'm saying? If I'm cleaning up, like cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Deep cleaning. Yeah, she like, okay. Well, I ain't even going to bother them. Finish cleaning, then I go talk to him or say something to him. That's no See, and that's what I want to talk to the couples too. I hate y'all moving. Because I've been trying to link with Jasmine though, but Jasmine was busy. Because you was always at work, or mm-hmm. I was at work. I was at work. I was at work. Um, us. Because young couples, I don't have positive black love in my family yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. And we that's why. We don't either. Mm-mm. 
We don't neither. So we happen to write the blueprint on how to be that positive love for our kids. kids, man. Because I was a bastard. My daddy was married, still married, and I came about with my mom. You know what I'm saying? My mom and dad was married, but he was he was shit. He made her finish cooking when her water broke with me. Oh. Yeah. That's deep. Mm-hmm. And then she probably didn't properly know how to love either, because... And I get that, but that's still not an excuse to me, because if I don't know how to... Prop- I didn't go and talk to property love, but I love the shit out of my kids, and I show them that, and they know that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the saying? excuses... You got to break the cycle. To an You got to see the shit that you didn't like. You got to see... Like I said, you got to break back. You either do or you don't. Day in and day out, you feel me, but, you know what I'm saying? You don't make it easy. No, but what that we have to realize, too... Even with like my sister, I got a sister that's forty two years old. That era, that seventies, eighties, that was the drug era. Yeah. yeah. So they coming off that the drugs. No, everybody wasn't on drugs, but you had they was raised different. Mm-hmm. It was just bred different with the crack and all that. Yeah. So I try to it's true. give understanding. You know what I'm saying? Because it's different. You got to that I mean, age right there. I mean. I get it, but it's still an excuse. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's still an excuse. But it's an illness, Jazz. I know, just like mental health. It's yeah. like, I would never say that mental health is an excuse for being a certain kind of way to an extent. You know what I'm saying? But because I don't deal with mental health fully. Right. Fully, fully. I'm talking about hospital fully type mental health. Mm-hmm. But I beat that shit. I still deal with it to an extent, and then I got to figure out how to... You ain't about to go back there and get up out, get you get out of your head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean don't seek counseling or get on certain kinds of meds and stuff like that. I did it at the beginning, but now I just fight it with God. But in this. That peace. <laughs> your kids. And my kids. Man. Kids that help you out of mental health. I'm trying to tell you. I done been down that rabbit hole. And I promise myself I'll never go back. Suicidal attempts, all that. Just scared. Like your head. You just people... Not me understanding, man. We... And I think it's too with us, our generation is social media. Yeah. We see oh, these yeah. other people, 23, oh, yeah. 25, oh, they live in life, they got this, they got that. And so it starts making us question ourselves mm-hmm. like, okay, well, why am I not where I'm going wrong? To be? Yeah, yeah, what am I going wrong? wrong? I tell you all the time, though. I think. That's why I didn't have that on social media since she's 15. To society, mm-hmm. it's social media. Yeah. Because this. this <laughs> How you say? It's this place people can go and, and reality just don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You can be who the fuck you want to be on social media, Facebook, so, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, all that shit. Yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? And then also, you can go on there and, like you said, you looking around it, and this motherfucker doing this, Ooh. this motherfucker that, and it'll make you feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, damn, what the fuck well, I, I ain't doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, mm-hmm. all that shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? You got some motherfuckers that make it look like they X, Y, Z on social media, but they still struggling like the next motherfucker. You know, everybody right. got their struggles. Everybody got their, you know what I'm saying, trying to triple H, you feel me? So. That's what I'm saying. Why can't we just be real with each other? No, you don't have to tell the next person your business. But I feel like if you is up there like that, pull some people up yeah. with you. But don't nobody want, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. The black community, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say everybody, but majority don't nobody want to do that because everybody feel like, like you feel me like everybody want to see you doing good in. just not better than them you feel me so and that's bad. And ain't that's nobody gonna put you in a position or help you get to a position to where you can at some point be better than them or make more than them or have more than them you feel me so it's sad it's just dog be dog you know what i'm saying that, like i said it is sad because trust me i know it's people that i thought was my day once that i thought would mm-hmm. want to come and talk to me and do yeah. this and it's like they won't even like if a you get that run, yeah. shit, the pole. This shit will break your heart. <laughs> it but it has been heartbreaking. It, yeah. Then you get the fuck past it. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? I got I made some real live man. brothers in the army. You I feel me? Like, just, me too. You know what I'm saying? And I, I motherfucker told me, you know what I'm saying? Love like, our kids. You can meet a motherfucker tomorrow that got better intentions than a motherfucker that you don't know your whole life. Facts. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So That's facts. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's all about just finding out who really for you. And you really feel find out. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, I really found out who was who really fucked with me and was for me when I felt, you know what I'm saying? When I got to my lowest, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
Me and too. it's not fi- falling off. It's just you had to you take a step back. Yeah, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? The transition not the, the only, it's not easy. It was me. hard. And it's we know a lot of people that mm-hmm. transition with family fully supporting them. Yeah, right. So. We did not transition in that like I know people I'm not we and people think that it's always financial. No, fuck the financial. We got that. Yeah. But we still need y'all emotionally, my mentally just being there for us, being there for our kids. Mm-hmm. And now we feel like I feel like, and it's not nothing against Knoxville. I feel like we don't waste the whole two years. Our kids don't waste the whole two years. Cause like you said because earlier, what you know what I'm saying? if I'm a struggle and feel like I'm by myself, I'm I can do my shit somewhere else. Right? Why yeah. struggle amongst family? That's one thing yeah. I don't understand. Struggling yeah. amongst family. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? And it's like we willing to help, but we're not gonna be willing to help constantly and and be not we be the ones helping. Right. That's not how life works. Let me tell you something I figured out when I came back home from college. And this like this really broke my heart when I sit down and broke it down. This was in my own family. Yeah. I came back from college, didn't nobody throw me no graduation mm-hmm. party. Like I had to throw my own graduation mm-hmm. party. Didn't nobody give me no graduation gifts. I had to do all that on my own. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty I wanted to flex on my family and my friends like I could do this. You know, I done graduated. Every time one of my brothers or cousins came home from prison, yeah. man, I talked to my dad about this. And party was like, "Hey, hey, we talking about that last night." We talking about that last night. I'm saying to the niggas in the jail, free out of real, you feel me? But I talked to my dad. You know what I'm saying? It's like when motherfucker come home from college, motherfucker come home from it, like doing something positive, mm-hmm. productive, do, trying to do something with their life. Mm-hmm. It's you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, hey, how you doing? Mm-hmm. But a motherfucker come home from jail, come home from prison. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not welcome. Yeah, I'm not saying not welcome them home. Welcome them home over there. Yeah, like for like I said, shit, I don't wish jail on my but, version. You feel me? You, you know, know what I'm saying? But our community don't understand that. We glorify the drug dealers. We glorify that because they get yeah. that easy money. But a man working on a railroad, like literally working as a postman, we don't celebrate them. We don't. Yeah. When they had a job 15 years, we don't celebrate that. No. And that's the accolade that we need to be celebrating. Yeah. But you do 15 year bid. Mm-hmm. Oh, you in snitch. I'm giving you 10 racks. I don't think people come home from prison. And even my own family. Be straight to say They get to put the like, money up to their ear like that. Hey, you're in fresh J, fresh fit, every picture I see. And I'm like, I'm sitting here struggling. <laughs> I, I mean, I, just, I don't understand that. I really don't. I wish that would change because I know mm-hmm. it's a lot of kids coming home from the army, from the military. From college, and they do not have that family support, and we have to yeah. do better, especially mentally. Mm-hmm. Just because, oh, he's a veteran, he's okay. No, he's dealing with stuff mentally. My dad is a Marine veteran. Yeah. I know they go through <clears> stuff. <throat> My, I live with a Marine ve- veteran. DJ's father is a veteran. He still wake up in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't have a couple of coke, forty five, it's still getting to him mentally. Mm-hmm. Man, and I, he's when I first got home, home, bro, like when I first got home, I she'll tell you. I drank a fifth of Hennessy every day to the like. Hey, he was like this You know what I'm saying, like you know what I mean. But and that's like we go back to this. You know what I'm saying. It ain't for a long it ain't time. always financial. You feel me? Like, sometimes it's just a, a it's just being there for you. Know what I'm saying, like just feeling like somebody really give a fuck. You feel me? Only person that's not been to our house since we moved that since we gonna been living here is my sister and his sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't say like we don't even handful mm-hmm. times. Wait, I mean, it ain't a bad thing. It's just about. I'm not exactly what you said. Yeah. You know, the support and stuff like that. Like, I got the body because we done did all them years by ourselves. So it's like, can we yeah. go? You know what I'm saying? I had to tell Get me the fuck up out of here. I had to tell my brother in law, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to him and it's like, I came home wanting family. You feel me? But not what family. I need y'all to understand is, from 20, 19 years old, I've been on my own. Away, like away from it. So I, I'm in my comfort zone when I'm not around y'all. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, that's deep. You know what I'm saying? That's like, on a whole different level. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I really come out of my comfort zone to be around y'all. But if it's gonna be bullshit and fuck shit and all that weird shit, I can go back to you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I mean? My, we love Texas. I did not want to leave. Man. He brought me here. Yeah, Texas. I was so upset. We, you ain't been to we Texas. Man, go to Texas, bro. I mean, we we're going, we're going. And I was like, please. I'm going back home. Like, I just, I'm, we good. Like, we can do the visit and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, we've been doing. But we're good. Yeah. We're good. Here. Like, we like Texas. It was saying. awesome. Not, I like Knoxville, too. It's home. Yeah, but, 
You get to a point where there ain't nothing here for you no more. You feel me? That's fast. I can't wait to move. Where y'all trying to move to? I want to go to Charlotte. Charlotte? Mm-hmm. That was a choice, too. I want to go to Charlotte. I want to get away from here. Because my kids, five and two, and don't none of my friends know my kids. <laughs> Outside of like Candace, Cristiano, and CC, don't know my friends, don't know my kids. People I grew up with. Yeah. They could tell you one thing about my kids. Yeah. And my, our kids go to the same, same school. All our kids go to the same school. All our kids go to the same school. We didn't do walking past each other, like, and I'm not going to keep speaking to them, like, I'm not. I'm telling you. When I if you look like you don't want to speak, I'm not going to speak. I had money. I made sure everybody kid had some. You know, try to show out at people, baby showers, buy all this stuff, X, Y, Z. Like you said, it's not about the money, but when it came to me, it was like nothing. Like crickets. And that's hurtful, you know what I'm saying? But we about to get out of here because I could go all day about this stuff. <laughs> and I don't care who mad. Come on the show and talk about it. <laughs> Bet you won't do that. Hey, little, oh. it's all love to everybody. It is all love. Not for straight, but it's a, it's. The devil used to live here. It's a rock and not swear. Yeah, it's a, it's the a, devil used to live here. Cloud. And it's like, it, it take, it take. I want my family to get up out of here. Like, I want them to gotta get fixed, you feel me? Gotta get fixed. If it don't, it's just gonna be the kick being the same thing. Not saying not to visit that place. Yeah. It's not. It's not, but when you got drug dealers out here, I mean, I'm about to get out of here because when you got drug dealers out here that it's literally have right. hundreds of thousands of dollars and don't even give out turkeys or presents, like, what are you doing? In this little bitty city. Don't have no, you're not doing nothing for single mothers. Like, just, man, I'm telling you, we're going to be blessed. I'm paying out for everybody child support. Um, everybody hustle. Now that people hustle to be seen, you feel me? Like, you know what I mean? That's so backwards. They hustle to be seen. They hustle to, you know what I'm saying, to look good. How about the... You talking about the you know 50s saying? and the 60s or whatever. They weren't hustling to look good. They were hustling mm-hmm. to make sure they got their families. And their kids and everybody in the neighborhood, the people were straight and not struggling. Mm-hmm. Cause we had to do that though. We were segregated. We had to lean on each other. Now we we think we better. I feel like we can't lean on each other no more. Cause I'm sure I'm about to lean on y'all. I can't wait till I'm going to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come. You know, come give me somewhere to travel. Well, we about to get out of here. Thank you, Desmond. Thank you, Jasmine. I truly enjoyed this. We're going to finish our tacos and our beer. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Please keep watching. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you so silly. <laughs>